What's up you guys? I am outside of Bed Bath & Beyond right now. This is their dumpster. That's their compactor back there, but they do throw away a lot of stuff in the dumpster still. Um, maybe if the compactor's full or something, but I am gonna check. I can see that there's some stuff on the top, so it looks pretty full, and hopefully there's some good stuff in there. So the first thing I see is this. These espressos. this food because there are a lot of homeless people who live under this bridge right here and I don't want to take the stuff that they could eat but those espresso cups um, I will take this is my step stool right now because I don't have mine in my car Cute pillowcase. Another one. So two pillowcases. There's so many bees. bamboo pillow. They spray painted the whole front of it, but it unzips. And so I think you could just take the cover off and wash it. So I'm going to take it. one's not sealed. Cajun seasoning. This is filet mignon beef jerky.
sparkling, yep, uh, sparkling apple cider. Another Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna be done here now since I've been here for a little bit. I don't like to stay too long. Here's the stuff. So I'm just gonna put it in the bag and be gone. So I'm outside of the Dollar Tree right now. Um, the biggest things that I'm looking for today are tissue paper for wrapping packages. I'm almost out um, and Halloween candy. So either of those things would be amazing to find. Uh, let's see if anyone has it. <laughs> It's like a playground swing. This one's kind of heavy. Excellent. <laughs> it's just wet towels. I just like this shoe box, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> All right, well, got some boxes. All right, well, I didn't find anything in those. I think I'm gonna go right across the street to the mall and see if any of the shops have anything. It's just right there. It's that building right up there. So let's go over there. Okay, this is Barnes and Noble. I've only ever found stuff once here before, so hopefully today is better.
I thought that I heard somebody coming, so I left, <laughs> but they're kind of gross. I found several gift cards. They were just laying beside the dumpster. I'm gonna look them up and see if there's anything left on them. But other than that, I didn't find anything at Barnes & Noble, so I'll go check the Ross that's over here. Um, sometimes they have some stuff, so maybe today they will too. This is a shared dumpster, so it's several places, but I'm pretty sure it's Ross and JC Penny. There's a ton of bags. Someone came out and so I stopped filming, but then he was super nice and said I can look. So look at all of this though. Okay, these are all this entire box full of Bath and Body Works little plastic bags. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but maybe I could find a use for them. I guess they're probably, they tossed them all because they're about to switch to their holiday bags or something. But I'm gonna grab them all. I've got a bunch more in my bag already. So, very interesting. So I didn't find anything else there, but I did take a whole bunch of bags. I guess you can't really see them back there. Um, I probably got like a couple hundred of those little plastic bags. Um, I'm thinking that I might use them to, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking maybe like put, if I sell a shirt, I could put it in that bag and then put it in the box to ship it. Um, and maybe that would be cute. So I might do that. Let me know if y'all have any suggestions for what to do with all of those little bags. Um, also, it's so good to know that that's Bed Bath and, or no, that that's Bath and Body Works is dumpster. Cause I knew that they were, they have a store in this mall and I just never knew where their dumpster was. Um, so that's Ross and it's JCPenney and it is Bath and Body Works. So that's a really good dumpster. I'm definitely gonna be going back to that one a lot more. And right now I'm just gonna cross the street and go over to an office supply store. So maybe they'll have some stuff. I am switching it up. I'm at an apartment complex now and let's see what they've got. Okay, <laughs> we've got a, uh, that says tough bin. And tools and gas, uh, canisters, which are expensive. Alright, so what is this, a two gallon? Yeah, so there's one two gallon one. That one's a little bigger. gallon. I just put these in the car. Those are awesome to have. All right, what else? I think I'm gonna just jump into this dumpster. It looks like there's a lot of pretty good stuff. The sun's really bright. There it goes, okay. Thank you. 
but this is really pretty. So there's that. but I'm gonna take all these canned foods. I'll wash them up and then I'll donate them. is the small one. I'm not sure what all that powder is all over it, but I am going to take it. It smells actually like it's, it smells like powdered laundry detergent, but that's a pretty set. So I'm going to take both of these and I'll clean that one up really good. I'm not taking the tough bin. The other day when I pulled that mattress topper out of the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster, I actually hurt my neck really bad. <laughs> and like the next day my neck had a kink in it all day. So I'm not gonna try to do really heavy stuff like that anymore. I'm just not strong enough. Maybe dumpster driving will make me get really strong. That'd be great. Okay, let me hop out. And I'm gonna take that and this other two gallon fuel gas canister. Hi, how's it going? There's Good. lots of good stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have a good one. Well, that's all for this dumpster. That was a lot of good stuff. Probably like 15 canned goods and two potentially crystal bowls and three big uh, gas cans. So not bad. That guy who came out, I feel bad. I thought he said, don't worry, I'm poor too. And so I just like kind of laughed. He said, like, don't worry, I support you. <laughs> and I feel bad because I just laughed and I was like, oh, dang it. I should have at least been like, oh, thanks. <laughs> but. Oh well. So the consensus so far for anyone who has ever come out and seen me either in a trash can or like pulling stuff out of it, they've all been so friendly. Like they're all, there have been a couple people who have looked at me kind of weird, but for the most part, if I actually have a full on conversation with somebody, they don't care at all. Like the person at the mall, he didn't care. He was like, I don't care. Get all you want. You can take it all. So like people literally don't care. I mean, of course in this state or at least in my county, it's, um, not illegal so potentially that's the reason but I also just would encourage everyone to not be afraid of people coming out and being mad at you because I've never had anyone be mean to me about it so if the fear of somebody coming out and seeing you is what's stopping you from diving then I would just suggest just try it for the most part I never see anyone anyways but the, the few people that have come out they've been really supportive so it's been a really awesome day. I love when that happens. Okay, you guys, 
I'm kind of confused about all this. This is at an apartment complex and right by the recycling bin are all of these parts, like car or motorcycle parts or something. There's like a radiator looking thing. Um, it's from LG Electronics and it's just like a bunch of parts. It's a, it's super heavy and it sounds like there's something in it. hold this in front of the camera because it has his address on it but it's a compressor set assembly from LG Electronics then why are they all out here okay I'm gonna get in my car I have the packing slip so I'm gonna just sit in my car and look it up and see how much these are what they are and if they're worth taking so hold tight. Okay, I looked them up. Um, the packing slip, let me fold his address down. It has the exact part number on it and where it's from and what it's called. I looked up that exact part number and it pulled up on their website $450 for one of them. So, um, I'm gonna take them all. Again, I don't know, you know, I don't know if they work. I don't know why they were tossed out, but um, I'm gonna put them on Craigslist as is. And that's so expensive. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna load them all into my car. Okay, well, they're in the car. My trunk's full of them. And I got seven back here. And then I have one more in my seat up there. That right there. So eight in total. And again, no idea if they're gonna sell, but for $450 new, even if they don't work, someone would buy them for parts. So I'm pretty excited about that. If they sell, that'll probably be one of my like biggest finds as far as money goes, but hopefully they will. So after a little bit more research, I found out that they are refrigerator compressors. So I went ahead and listed them on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for $75 a piece untested. So I'm selling them for a lot cheaper just cause it's, I don't know the condition of them. They might not work and people might just be buying them for parts, but I want to sell them cheap. Uh, and that way they'll move a lot faster, but I put all of them up on Craigslist and Facebook and maybe as I'm continuing to drive around and look in more dumpsters, someone will contact me about them and then I can keep you updated on it. 
Okay, so I went to a few more apartment complexes and I'm just not finding anything else. So I'm gonna call it quits for today. I feel really happy with what I got. The best thing obviously are the fridge compressors, which I've listed. I got a text message already off Craigslist, but it's spam. The thing with reselling on Craigslist especially is you get so many text messages from just like robots and they're just trying to scam you. So you definitely get a lot of spam um, emails or text messages or whichever contact you put on there. But Craigslist for me has always done really well for like larger parts or um, kind of like in like specialized tools and stuff. So I'm pretty confident that I'll sell the compressors on Craigslist. So um, other than that, I got a bunch of food, a bunch of canned goods, um, a bunch of stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond, like the beef jerky and chips and pretzels and sparkling cider and all that stuff. So overall, I'm super stoked with today. I am now going to go visit Alex, my husband, at Gnome Cones. Um, I'm wearing my shirt from there today. <laughs> But they just released the winter menu, so they're serving hot drinks and hot chocolate now and stuff. So I'm gonna go up there and take some pictures for them. And yeah. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, I love um, sending letters and I love getting letters. And so I set up a post, uh, what's it called? A P.O. box yesterday. So I now have a P.O. box. And if you want to send me any letters, um, we can be pen pals and I'll write back. And I just thought it'd be really fun to have that. And then I didn't want it to be my home address. So I got a post office box. The address for it, I'll put it in the description below where it's like captioned. So yeah, if y'all want to send me any letters, do so and I'll write back or just enjoy reading them and it sounds really fun to have that. So I hope that everyone's having an awesome day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>